This is my friend Deborah Horth Blackwell. So Deborah has an accounting practice in Crockett. Her office is on the square and um, along with doing that she is president of the hospital board and she's also um, on the board of the Piney Woods Fine Arts Association. I've been involved here for 25 years I guess and about 20 of that I've known Pat and dealt with her uh, with both personal uh, and commercial type contracts. Actually, we, you always laugh and say in a small town there's absolutely nothing to do. Well, the calendar fills up, yeah, and sure. I don't I don't know how that happens, but uh, between Piney Woods Fine Arts, which is a group who brings talent to Crockett every fall through what we call our season. And we've had wonderful, wonderful groups here, like everybody from Willie Nelson to Kenny Rogers to the Vienna Boys Choir. And Deborah's responsible for a very, very large percentage of that. Uh, the festivals we have, mm -hmm. it seems like one right after the other. We just got through with the Fiddler's Festival again, mm -hmm. Deborah. 80 years of Fiddler's Festival being in Crockett, Texas. Amazing. It's an amazing thing. And nobody had more fun than the Fiddler's. Well, then, like I said, there's there's usually not a lack of things to do in That's Crockett. Right. And I live right around the corner from the Houston County Lake. I never knew what was there. And I have friends from Houston, and now I see what an asset that Houston County Lake is. And in fact, I forgot it was either Memorial Day or Fourth of July, we drove around the lake and said, where are you from? And they said, Katie, <laughs> That's Spring. Right. That's right. I mean, there's, a, there's just a lot. And, if you try to compare it to the cost of buying lake property in the Houston area, it's just a bargain. And it's really a beautiful place. And there's always plenty of places to go eat. Lots of so Mexican food. That's right, three Mexican food places. And seafood and home cooking. So Chinese on the square. So lots of places to go. Well, Deborah, I know you and I have both been here a long time and we've certainly seen prices per acre change. Do you, re do you remember any time they were lower than they <laughs> might be today? Well, I think when my father bought the ranch in 1952, he paid $50 an acre. Now that's a really long time ago. When I bought, well I actually sold either ranch and bought the new one, I'd say prices were around $900 an acre and that would have been in 99. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now they're they're whatever they're 32. We 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 have one listing of 150 something acres and it's just below 3,000 uh, an acre. But most of them are going to be starting with a three. And if it's smaller acreage, they might be starting with a four. And if it's even smaller, they might be starting with a five mm -hmm. number. Mm -hmm. But it's the value is there because you can't go any place else in Texas and find those small tracts of land or those big tracts of land for that price. So it's still a good bargain. Well, I think as the big cities get bigger, more and more people come to Crockett because it's we're kind of almost equidistant between Dallas and Houston, mm -hmm. so they pick Crockett intentionally from looking at the map. And plus the cost of living here is very reasonable, I think. I know what I was going to say. Probably the most exciting thing going on in the community right now, and you mentioned I was president of the hospital board. It's, it's amazing because when you're thinking about moving to a community, and especially if you're talking about retiring here, you've got to have a high quality mm -hmm. hospital. Absolutely. And Little River, which they now have named our hospital Timberlands Healthcare, uh, have brought in just in the short period of time, they took over actually around April, and we finalized the lease agreement in October, just this month. And they've already brought in at least five or six specialists into our community that we have not had. We've got an orthopedist, we have a cardiologist, they're gonna do uh, catheterizations here, so we have a, a complete cath lab, we have a birthing center, we have a urologist, we have, I mean, it, the list goes on and, and they're gonna continue to do that. So I think that's probably one of the most important things going on right. in the community. Yes. 